Okay, so now I'm going to cook some veggie burgers. And here I have a potato and a parsnip and a carrot. So I've peeled them and then I've boiled them until soft in some boiling water. It took about 10 to 15 minutes. Um, about a minute before the end, I've dropped in a handful of spinach leaves. And then once they're cooked, I've mashed them and I've let that cool down. So these would be a really quick and easy lunch if you had some leftover veg from the night before. Yeah, you could exactly. just throw in whatever you have left. So to that I'm going to add a tablespoon of rapeseed oil and a tablespoon of wholemeal flour. So these veggie burgers are high in vitamin A, uh, which supports healthy vision and also healthy skin. Um, and they're really high in vitamin C, which is important for the immune system. And they make a nice side dish, actually, with any meal. Yeah, so if you had some left over, you could just keep them for dinner for yourself as a side dish. And the spinach in them adds a source of iron. So leafy green vegetables are a good source of iron. Now, it's not as easily absorbed as, say, sources from red meat or chicken, but the vitamin C in this dish will help to absorb the iron from the spinach. And you could also use peas, um, could you, or some other green veg if you didn't yeah, have spinach. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so that's mixed together now. I'm just going to mould that into four patties. So with clean hands, just take a small handful. And your toddlers can maybe help you mould the patties, especially <laughs> for fussy eaters. If you get them more involved yeah. with food preparation, they can be a bit more willing to try it sometimes. They'd love that. So I'm putting that then onto a grease baking tray. Toddlers love getting messy in the kitchen. Yeah, exactly. So this quantity will make about four. But you could also do mini ones, maybe eight mini ones. So my oven is preheating to 200 degrees. And I'm just going to pop these in for about 10 to 15 minutes. So they're ready now. They're in the oven for about 15 minutes. So to serve these then, you could just chop them up into little finger-sized pieces so that they can pick them up and feed themselves. It makes them feel a little bit more independent when they can control what they're eating themselves.